Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how you can deposit and withdraw money from Coinbase. I'm in Germany right now, so I'm using euros, but it's basically the same for any other currency. So it doesn't matter if you're using British pounds or US dollars or Australian dollars. It's basically very similar. So the easiest way to do that if you want to deposit something and that's what we start with and you just go to my assets and then add cash and then they basically give you um, several options for me right now it's a wire transfer so in europe it's called zebra deposit and the other thing is called sofort which is like basically klarna and they basically give you a bank number here where you can wire your money to and that's it so that's basically all you have to do. You just have to wire your money to that bank account here and then they basically put it in your account. And I'm using Revolut as a bank account and it basically arrives and within seconds at Coinbase so I can immediately start trading after I wired the money. So that's pretty straightforward. And all the deposits are free. Um, besides that, you also have the option to buy and sell a cryptocurrency and with your credit card or with Apple Pay or Google Pay. And that's basically the second way to do that. And how that works is you just select the cryptocurrency that you want to buy, like Bitcoin, for example, or Ethereum, whatever you want to buy. And then you click on pay with. And then they basically give you the option to pay with Apple Pay or you can at a payment method and for me it would be credit or debit card and then you can select it at your credit card details and then you can buy the cryptocurrency directly with your credit or debit card or apple pay however i wouldn't recommend buying cryptocurrencies directly with credit or card or apple pay because of the fees so coinbase basically charges 3.99 percent on fees if you are buying directly. So the better way to get a cryptocurrency is to wire some money to Coinbase because that's free and then buy it under trade and then advanced trading because and they only charge you a max of 0.5% instead of 4% that they are charging you here if you want to buy something with credit card. So that's um, easy but very expensive. And if you want to withdraw money, it's also pretty straightforward. You just go to my assets, cash out, and then you can basically cash out. Let's say 50 euros, you just click continue, and then you can either provide them with your bank account or with your PayPal details, and then you can withdraw the money. And as, I, as you can see here, I'm using Revolut, and it usually just takes a few seconds if I withdraw some money from Coinbase until it arrives in my bank account. So that's actually pretty pretty fast, even if they say it takes one to two business days. Um, I did it quite often in the past and it only took um, several seconds every time. Or you can do PayPal as well. And if you want to withdraw money, um, they charge you 15 cents as a fee, as a flat fee. So it doesn't matter if you want to withdraw 50 euros, 500 or 5,000. They always charge you 15 cents, which is quite fair actually, compared to other um, crypto exchanges. So that's basically it. If you have any question about it, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you don't have a Coinbase account yet, I put a link down in the description that you can use to sign up and take part in special promotions. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.